Hello, my name is Charles, the Marketing Maverick Davis. I want to welcome you to the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. This video is going to be about digital reputations, why it's important. My name is Charles Davis, Charles, the Marketing Maverick Davis on LinkedIn. I'm a digital marketer, marketing consultant, and brand strategist. I've been in IT and marketing and technology for over 40 years. These last 10 years or so, because of the digital marketplace, it has become really important that personal and business reputations are guarded on the internet. You see a lot of scams and hacking and things of that nature. But what I wanna talk about is two real life situations that I was involved in. The first one was during COVID. That emergency caused schools to have to scramble on how to implement virtual learning. A lot of schools didn't know that it was coming. Some people had been looking at it, but COVID had made it a priority to continue the school education. So in Milwaukee, I was approached by a Christian school in order to build a marketing system to have the students and the adults be able to be informed about the virtual learning program that was being implemented at that particular school. The problem was they had not maintained their social media. It was laying there dormant. They did not have an active social media campaign on Facebook and they had let the engagement and the posting just stopped. So now I'm faced with the situation of how do I reactivate the Facebook pages so that the parents would be informed of the plans that the school was making to bring virtual learning online. It was a two-way communication where they could communicate with the administrators in the school and we could communicate with them what the plans were, how to sign up, where to get information, and all the things that were, had to be put in place in order to get it acceptable to the parents. Because the number one thing was, number one was their safety from COVID. We had to let them know, well, these are the things that were in place. They had problems, it's a lot of people, especially the lower income people, they didn't have internet. They didn't even have laptops. So we had to accommodate that. And even then there were some people that were like, well, I don't have the financial resources in order to do this. Like for instance, to come to the school and pick up the materials, or there was also a lunch program put in place. There was a after school daycare program provided by the YMCA. Uh, BMO Harris established bank accounts and gave them $200 to get started. All these things had to be communicated, and the only way to do that was through Facebook. And then the web design that I put together talked about it even more, gave them access to how to sign up and make this as easy as possible. The user experience, we paid particular attention to that. So we didn't want to have any friction points or touch points that they didn't like. Whenever they identified something, we, particularly me, put things in place to eliminate the problem. The end result was normally the school had about 300 students and they ended up getting 450 students way over their quota and they received additional funding from the federal government. 
to the tune, I think, of like $650,000 more. Well, not more. They had an increase of maybe 150000 because the federal government allocates so many dollars per child. So we started in August, and they sent their numbers in in December, and they got the allocation in January. That's the first situation. The second one was something that happened as the result of COVID. A particular organization in Wisconsin, they let everyone go. And then the backlash from the employees, they put out inflammatory information out on the internet. They accused this organization of being against um, what would you call it, uh, unions. They shut down the company for COVID, but now they had to restart and it was a mess. They let go of all the people that had control of the social media. We didn't have that. The website had not been maintained. The budget was a mess. And they brought me in as a digital campaign manager to do an analysis and how to recover and reclaim their digital reputation. If you look at one of my previous videos, it talks about digital monopoly. The digital assets, the value of the digital assets were degraded. They were poorly maintained. The website didn't address who the brand is. So I had to come in and do a brand analysis. It's like, okay, these are the people you're trying to reach. These are your social media channels. Work with Facebook to reclaim it back. Took six months to get the Facebook back. Then I had to redesign the web design, which was originally in WordPress. I put it in Webflow because the reality is web designs only last two years. If you're really going to be actively maintaining your online presence, then you're going to have to refresh your web design and your social media. It's going to have to be actively maintained across all platforms because that's where the value comes from. Think about this. Would you go into a store that looked the same all the time? If you go into a mall, you notice they're constantly changing the windows. That's the attraction. So businesses today have to be proactively maintaining their digital assets, their digital real estate. Serial Design FX, we have recognized that Companies of all sizes struggle trying to maintain their online presence and their digital real estate. That's why I created Serial Design FX Digital Marketing as a subscription service. Companies do not need to struggle with maintaining all these digital assets because it can be costly and timely in order for them to manage it effectively. One of the things that I learned when the internet was first implemented, we struggled with the hardware, the software, all those components and trying to manage it internally was a nightmare. So what we ended up doing was we picked the appropriate software hardware vendor to take over the heavy lifting so we could focus on the business. That's what digital marketing as a subscription service at Serio Design Effects can provide any small to medium sized business. We can come in, convert your antiquated, your old web design. We can teach your team how to use the technology because they're going to be the subject matter experts. And then we will supplement your staff with professionals, 
already vetted by me to be proficient in what they do. If this is of interest to you, you can schedule the discovery call. You're not going to talk to no salesperson. You're going to talk to me personally. Charles Marketing Maverick Davis I was a Unix engineer. I've been working in technology since I was 16. I had 40 years of experience. And we can discuss how my company can help you. Thank you.